with another old transformer being removed from service because of rust and probably rotten cross arms. Um, this is quite a cool transformer. An old Ferranti. Another an installation test on it and see uh, see how it is, what the condition is of the HV mining. Um, this is a uh, vent, hang on, I'll take it off. So called breather. Fill this all. Uh, it's the old classic breather. Really cool. You can probably put silica gel in there too if you want. I may take the top lid off. This is a bit crusty. Shock on the lane plates. Here's a dipstick. So you don't see that on new transformers anymore. You can put a temp temperature probe in there. There's the all glass. It's pretty dark. Here's another fiddle plug. And this is the label. Ferranti. Test on it and see how she performs. Mega connected this Delta primary to the ground. I'm going to test the 5kV and see what the readings are. I'll get the glare out, energized device. That's good, holding 5kV straight away. I've got also a new Kraftwerk uh, shirt here. After I went to the auto, to the live concert autobahn in the Spark Arena last week and it was absolutely awesome. Already 1.2 gig, that's good. 5 kV test here, we'll do one minute. 1.36 nearly, that will do. LV running to ground, 500 volts. This is a star that should be all floating in there, so let's see how that goes. That looks good too, similar, 1.3, 1.4 gig. I'll wait for a minute and see how she goes. 50 kVA, 69.5 ampere. See if we can get the lid off. I'm gonna have a look at that. That's all the taps. And uh, yeah, there's your drain plug here. H is the scrap dealer where it goes to. Just under 2G. Just under 2G. Just gonna do a continuity test. I'm expecting 50 kVA. About 40 something ohms, 50 ohms. Forty ohms. A to C. B to C. I got a high reading. Hang on. Didn't make good contact there. I want to say that the other reading one didn't make sense. All readings are around 40 to 41 points. Something arms. That's all good. It's good. There's a bit of uh, Enox on these uh, terminations. They actually come off easy. They're turning. Get lubrication and I'll see if we can get the lid off and have a look inside.
Copper brass nuts, they come off, off after 50 or 60 years. Fantastic. Get the hood off. Oh, beautiful. Hang on. Amazing design. The delicious aroma, this thing has had an oil leak. I've been leaking quite a bit of oil. The oil levels should be up to here at least. So that means the side glass wasn't doing too much. That's all clogged up. Still hasn't blown up. That's a really cool look at the tap changes. So you need to go into the transformateur to change the plugs. In the oil or drain the oil or whatever, but up the pole. It's quite interesting. And the bushings are really cool too on these. They normally, oh, I can see it better here. They normally got a big flat washer here behind, which acts as your lightning arrestor. So if you have lightning, it will arc over to the tank here, and it will protect the transformateur for a blowout. Really well made this device. Get some better shots of these things here. But yeah, the oil is definitely leaked out of this thing. And the bushings, LV bushings. And the CBA neutral. And normally from the neutral day, when an earth wire going to the tank, to maintain your MEN system. The bushing goes through the steel here, into the tank. Yellow face. It's actually a really cool design this. Still a few around on the network. But they slowly get replaced and oh yeah the dipstick sits here so that's the sleeve here. So that's normally submerged in oil. Yeah your oil level gauge is here so that should be more or less here. So the oil level has dropped down probably about 12 centimeters below that. You stick your temperature gauge in here. And that will give you the temperature reading if you want to do a local check. There we go. Good old Ferranti 50 kVA. Probably 1950-1960 sometime. Ducts are reading, but I can't get good reading, so I need to clean the glass a little bit. Oh, so they have a good contact for the pipe to sense it. It'll be all white varnish on here. Years of overload, I guess. Uh, let's see what's going to happen now. Let's see if I can get a good one. I'm not sure if you can see it from here. How to do these things with one hand and a camera. not making good contact. Thirty-three point three micro ohms I got between uh, blue and red phase. Zero point zero six six I got between very hard to get good LV readings. The doctor said it's micro ohms and that's you probably and milli ohms so I got about zero points Less than 0 0.1 ohms on the secondary winding. I'll put the hood back on, and that's the end of this transformer. 
unfortunately end up in the scrappers. on it is back secured farewell good old transformer you have serviced us very well over the years obviously the leak is here at the bottom part leaking out there for looking at the radiator here this corridor there, got a big corridor you need to. Yeah, little fancy. Over fire.